You just clicked on that video and might think I'm the only one thinking or feeling in that way. I'm the only one that actually is going through what I'm going through right now. And I'm the only one that needs to suffer. One, two, three. But let me make you one thing clear. You are not alone. We often feel or believe that what we're going through right now is something that only we have to do and only we alone have to suffer. But mostly it's not the case. After that video, you will understand and will not feel stuck again. So watch the video till the end to see how. What happens is that mostly when we actually open up to someone, we realize that we are actually not along with our thoughts or with our current situation. And that most of the people around us are feeling quite similar. And let me tell you one thing, no matter what you have in your mind, there's at least one person on that earth that actually is going through that right now in that same moment. And if you read a lot or if you're actually reading other people's biographies or other people's story about how they built up everything and how they went through the struggle, you will understand that most of the problems that we are facing, actually other people face them as well. And we are thinking we are alone with that and only it's only you who's struggling right now. But this is not the case. So how can you not feel or get out of that struggle in order to achieve your goals and not feel stuck again? So in order to not feel stuck in life, you have to know or ask yourself why. Ask yourself in the first place, why do I feel stuck in life? And then actually do a self-examination and be like, okay, these are the points that I'm thinking or actually want to achieve. And these are the obstacles in my way currently. And then you ask yourself, okay, how can you overcome that? How can you actually achieve these goals, even though you have that big wall between you and your goals? Then you will do a plan. You will first list up all of these obstacles in your way and then you will conquer each one of them step by step and each one of them you will conquer with a plan so after you have that big why and actually like really do that pull out a sheet of paper write all of these obstacles that are actually the reason that you're stuck in life and write them down really detailed exactly the topic and each situation even when they are occur or like everything very in detail in, in details and then try to approach each of them step by step so you have that one obstacle let's say perfectionism okay you'd be like okay everything i want to do is always i want to do it the perfect way that video that i'm recording the video that i'm editing the project i'm working on my new brand that i want to open everything should be perfect from the beginning and that might be the reason that you're not even starting because in order to upload the video it should be perfect so you have to make the video editing perfect and that takes time and you don't have the time so then you're in that that circle that like you will never, never do it so then you see okay perfectionism is actually one topic and one obstacle so in order to achieve your goal you have to get rid of perfectionism and how do you do that by just doing that video pull out your camera record okay it's not bad it's not good but there is actually a very easy formula, especially for let's say content creator. People say actually the videos are better if you increase the quantity and stick to the quality, which is 100% true. But in order to get that quality where the videos are actually good, you have to first practice a lot. That means that in the beginning, your quantity is high, but your quality is low. That means after a period of let's say six months, imagine recording and editing every day. After a year, your quality will increase. So what you can do is for the first year, you can actually increase your quantity, decrease your quality, and after a year, you will decrease the quantity and stick to your quality. And knowing all of that will just give you the edge to actually say, okay, I will just do right now because I will be perfect in a year from now on, but you have to do. So whatever you have in your mind to do, you will start doing it right now. And not think, okay, I need this in order to make it good, that and that, no. Work with what you have and then see how it turns out. And then just, you know, create a video every day. And then after a while, actually, you will get to that point where you can say, okay, now I know what it takes in order to build and actually create high quality content. And now I will take my time 
and decrease the quantity and really stick to the quality after a time so whatever the obstacle is actually that is in your way it could be perfectionism it could be self-doubt it could be self-limitation it could be financial reason it could be personal reason no matter what it is overthinking like procrastination there's so many actually issues or reason to not do something and if you know okay these are actually my problems and then you will ask yourself okay i'm not doing the work because of these problems then you write them down and then you attack each of them and you try to work with yourself and understanding your body as well you might be more able to do the work in the mornings than in the evenings so if you try to force yourself to work in the evening you will actually work against your body because he needs some sleep and he's like tired and you will just lack the concentration the focus and everything so you have to actually work with your body as well give your body the right nutrition give your body the right amount of sleep give your body everything he needs and then work with it it should be a harmony it should be a team together you and your body so yeah like you all three like your spiritual mentally and you physically should all work together and then no matter what your goal is you will actually achieve it and you will not feel stuck in life so I would say it's quite easy for you really examine the reason why you're stuck in life really ask yourself okay why do I even feel that way it's not bad like you of course you're not alone but why do I feel that way then see the reason and then see okay how after the why comes the how okay how can I now really achieve my goal if I have the, the reason how can I actually solve the problem then you're solving the problem step by step and after you solve the problem you should not actually feel stuck in life and if you still be like okay all of these problems are solved but I still feel kind of stuck then actually ask yourself okay do I really have maybe some unrealistic expectations about how my journey should end or how my journey should be like because sometimes we actually feel stuck in life because we think okay our life is meant to be like that and we're not living it that way that's why we are stuck but the reason is not that the reason is actually you're not putting in the work so you, your life might be even that and you might be even having the visions and you manifest it and you have be like yeah in two years I'm gonna be a millionaire like I even said that in a video but in order to become that person you have to go through that journey so you might be feeling okay right now where you are in, in that journey is not really the position for you you have to be there but in order to get to that point you have to go through that struggle in order to achieve that so if you think okay even the journey should be different then you might be having not the real expectations of that journey so just try to change your mind really try to focus on that work itself and not really on that outcome because eventually you will get there and you will not even notice but if you're just so focused on that outcome and every day you get disappointed because it's not you're not there yet then you will lose that motivation you will lose that focus and you will lose that drive and that's why change that vision and then of course step by step conquer your goals each day make a plan and then you will achieve that so to summarize everything you're not alone feeling stuck in life everyone feels, feels that way of course not so many people are talking about that but you know that no matter why you will feel stuck in life you will be the only one who can actually solve it so don't put it on anyone don't put it on any reason on any obstacles on any anything just take full responsibility be okay the reason where you are right now is actually only you but the reason where you will be in two years is also only you so you are in charge if you want to get there or if you want to be miserable each day and be like oh I am here and I'm so miserable and I don't like my life and I'm so sad because all these obstacles are against me trying to take that as a little inspiration try to pick out some of these topics that I actually address and see if they are working for you and just you know put it into action and see how it turns out also i would say don't forget to sow the seeds and i will see you in the next video that man buy a hundred bags be right here whenever you need me i need you to know that your son's got your back like mama owe you everything can you believe that everything come and repeat that and when i make a song you give me feedback i want you plant the seeds and then you reap that made a little money from trees